when you are trying to record sold the movie promo onto your hard drive, the easiest way to do it is to navigate to the Mobile Me Gallery via your link. You'll see tiny, small, medium, and large. You want to click on the Large button so that when you try to download it, you will have the largest version of the file installed on your computer. The contrast isn't very sharp, so it's difficult to see when this bar is actually full. Um, but there is a slightly different gray-black, and once it gets all the way across, then you are ready to click on the Download button. As the bar moves across the screen, what it is doing is buffering the movie into the RAM of your computer for easy playback without interruption. It is not recording it onto your hard drive. Now that the film has completely buffered into your computer, scan it all the way through, seeing the whole movie from beginning to end. This means that the movie is ready to be downloaded. So now we can click on the Download button. This gives you two options, one to click it at iPhone size and one to click it on Mac PC or Apple TV. We're going to click on Mac PC or Apple TV and click the download button. Then, if it doesn't automatically appear, you will see that the movie begins to download into your downloads folder. If you don't see this process as it moves all the way across, you can sometimes find it under the window. I'm using Safari right now, and I have the Downloads folder checked, so I always see it. If you don't see it, and this is closed, it's still downloading. You can just go to the Downloads window and watch its progress. When the blue bar has gotten all the way across, you can find this movie inside your Downloads folder in your hard drive. Depending upon your internet connection, your download can take anywhere from a few minutes to 10 or 15 minutes. In an Apple computer using Safari, uh, when your download is completed, you can click on this little magnifying glass and it will take you right to your piece inside the downloads folder. I've just clicked on it, my downloads folder opens, and there it shows me the movie downloaded. It's 53.1 megabytes. Now, if I double-click on Sold the Movie Promo, it will automatically load it into iTunes. iTunes loads, and we can see it copying the movie, Sold the Movie Promo, large file, into iTunes for future use. Once it finishes loading, it will automatically play in iTunes. So now it is in iTunes for you to play back at any time you like.